Good morning, and welcome to another segment of the Worf Report for July 13th. Keep America vigilant. To 23. Cover up. The subcommittee investigating the COVID-19 pandemic released its report on Tuesday exposing fake Dr. Anthony Fauci and his cohorts deliberately working as early as February of 2020 to disprove the theory that COVID came from the Wuhan lab, even though in their emails to each other, they admit that the data supports it. Russia says Ukraine has lost over 26,000 men and 1,200 tanks since June 4th. Fox News stock is downgraded since the absence of Tucker Carlson. The California Assembly Committee blocks legislation punishing child sex trafficking. Wonder why? A Georgia Democrat switches parties to join the GOP, and Iowa passes the heartbeat bill. First to California, where the pedo-infested California Assembly Committee on Public Safety has blocked SB 14, supported by Elizabeth Smart, which would have made the human trafficking of children a serious felony like murder and rape, which could result in the death penalty or life in prison. Not one Democrat on the committee voted for the bill, but Republican Assemblyman Tom Lackey voted yes. The GOP vice chair of the committee, Juan Alanis, was conveniently, quote, out of the committee room at the time of the vote. Right. I don't know about you folks, but I find it awfully coincidental that we have so many missing children each year in this country and around the world. But in Georgia, one state representative, Misha Maynard, has had enough of her Democratic Party. She announced this week that she is leaving the Democrat Party to join the GOP, stating, quote, I represent a blue district in the city of Atlanta, so this wasn't a political decision for me. It was a moral one. I will never apologize for being a black woman with a mind of my own. Brave woman, folks. Keep them coming. Meanwhile, in Iowa, the state legislature has passed the heartbeat bill, which will ban most abortions after six weeks. The bill does provide exceptions for rape, incest, to save the mother's life, miscarriages, and fetal abnormalities that a doctor determines are incompatible with life. Governor Kim Reynolds announced she will sign the legislation tomorrow. During the 15-hour debate on the bill, pro-abortion protesters, most of them probably paid or enlisted by the Satanic Democratic Party, caused a scene outside the chamber. How come protesting is only okay when they do it? Next to Ukraine where things aren't going as good for them as the media would have you believe. Russia news agency TASS stated that Ukraine's spring counteroffensive has failed miserably with the country losing over 26,000 men, 21 planes, 5 helicopters, 1,244 tanks and other armored vehicles, 17 German Leopard tanks, 5 AMX tanks, and 12 U.S.-made Bradley infantry fighting vehicles. Russian forces also reportedly eliminated 914 pieces of automotive equipment, two air defense systems, 25 multiple launch rocket systems, and 403 field artillery cannons and mortars. But I thought Russia was weakened. Fake news, folks. Russia has had the upper hand, and always has. Putin is fighting against the very Nazis of World War II, the neo-Nazis, whom Zelensky himself admitted in a now-deleted live stream video we brought to you months ago that the neo-Nazis had merged with the Ukrainian military. Putin just may be saving the world and nobody even realizes it. He is attacking the globalists and fighting the battle we should be fighting, but can't because we've been so badly infiltrated by the enemy. Speaking of lying news networks, Fox News stock has reportedly been downgraded by Wells Fargo on Monday following the disastrous ousting of Tucker Carlson. Yahoo Finance reported that analyst Steve Cahal stated, quote, Fox's earnings are mostly Fox News earnings, and Fox News is facing viewership and share pressures. With ecosystem risks also elevated, we find our estimate outlook more negative and below the street. Guess Fox never heard the expression, when you play with fire, you always get burned. Finally, to an explosive report by the Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Pandemic. This week, they released a report titled The Proximate Origin of a Cover-Up, which exposes Fauci and his cohorts engaged in a sinister plot against the American people as early as February of 2020 to disprove the theory that COVID came from the Wuhan lab in China. The report states, quote, 
On January 31st, 2020, Dr. Fauci prompted Proximal Origin, which his goal was to disprove the lab leak theory to avoid blaming China for the COVID-19 pandemic. Proximal Origin employed fatally flawed science to achieve its goal. And finally, Dr. Collins and Dr. Fauci used Proximal Origin to attempt to kill the lab leak theory. And here's the best part. They admit in their own emails that the data supports the lab theory. Of course it does, because COVID-19 was intentionally released, not accidentally, to impact the 2020 election in the United States, to oust Trump with the help of our bribed and blackmailed politicians by China, and to usher in the so-called Great Reset, which will ultimately end up being the Great Awakening. Take a look at some of these emails as proof. It's outrageous. From this point on, we're not allowed to say or show you what we're about to on this platform, or we'll almost certainly be punished for it. For those of you that have been with us from the beginning, you know that YouTube had previously labeled our content as, quote, harmful to the public, and nearly banned us permanently on at least two separate occasions. So please, join us for the rest of this segment at thewurfreport.com, where we can say exactly what we want without fear of censorship, suppression, or the banning of our account for only $6.99 a month or $49.99 a year. You can also make a one-time donation by clicking the donation link in the description of this video. And for all the trolls out there who don't like our business model, no need to comment. Just keep scrolling. We clearly have our reasons. For everyone else, your support helps us do what we do. See you there. God bless you all. God bless President Trump. And God bless America.